Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. Um, we're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling, their next actions, um, <clears throat> their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid. The rules could be reversed and only take what resonates and leave the rest. So whenever you find this reading is the right time for you, if the title drew you in and Spirit has a message for you. And let's get right into this. Show me clear and honest messages for Aquarius. How does their person feel about them? Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles. Um, you could be focused on work, or maybe this person is. Um, they could also just feel like this relationship needs to be worked on. <laughs> I mean, every relationship needs work into it, let's be honest. Um, let's just see it more. The King of Swords. Okay, so you're definitely on this person's mind a lot. They're thinking about you a lot. Um, they could also feel like you're just a very, you know, logical problem solver. You just say things how they need to be said. Um, I mean, nothing wrong with that. The Fool, Aries energy here. Um, this person wants to move forward. They want to take a leap of faith. If this is someone you're just starting out with, I feel like they want to dive into this relationship with you. They want to, you know, check it out, see how it goes with you. Um, if this is someone you've already been dealing with, I feel like they want to leave whatever's happened between the two of you in the past. And they just want to bring, move forward with whatever's necessary now. You know, if you've been through some things, you learned about each other, they're like, okay, let's just, you know, take what we what we only need and move forward and and let's do this um tell me more about the king of swords thank you the page of wands and the five of wands okay so fire energy here aries leo Sag. um when it comes to communication with this person i feel like there's times it leads to arguments. I feel like there's just a difference in opinion. I feel like you both are very strong-willed, um, headstrong, you know, have strong opinions, and as we all do, and as we should, um, but I feel like there are times where it, it leads to arguments. And I feel like that's why this Eight of Pentacles came out, that that's something you both need to work on together. Um, or maybe you feel like just that person needs to work on how they talk, or they feel like just you need to work on how they talk, take it, how it resonates. Um, but with this page of wands here, they definitely, again, want to, want to have a new beginning, want to, you know, start fresh. Um, but the communication, I feel like it just needs to be worked on. So let's see, what actions will this person take towards Aquarius in the immediate future spirit? What actions will this person take towards Aquarius in the immediate future? You. Okay, so there's the two of swords here. So it's indecision about something. Um, let's go further and see. They're undecided, but I feel like the thing about the two of swords is that there's nothing really going on. This person just needs to take off the blindfold and realize that, like they're on land, the waters are calm, it's a beautiful night. <laughs> you know, there's nothing really, but I mean, it's just indecision. It's being up in your own head. So let's see, tell me more about this Two of Swords for the actions this person will take towards Aquarius. Okay, so we have the King of Cups, the King of Love here. Water energy could be dealing with the Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. So I feel like on one hand, they're like, I want to talk about how much I care about you and how much you mean to me and, you know, how emotional I am with you, especially if this person doesn't really show their emotions. With that King of Swords energy, that could have been them. They come off as just like very blunt. Um, there's definitely deep emotion here. If they haven't said I love you yet, I feel like they definitely feel it. 
Um, okay, and then we also got the two of wands. So two twos back to back here. Pay attention to synchronicities. Um, I feel like, yeah, the, the, they're undecided. They're indecisive about coming forward and talking about um, how they feel about you, which is very deep emotion. Or, you know, deciding is there something else out there that will work better for the both of us, this two of wands energy. Let's dive deeper. Tell me more about the King of Cups for the actions this person will take towards Aquarius in the immediate future. The thing is about the King of Cups is there's a lot of emotion there, um, but it, it's a little bit, you know, the waters are a little bit uh, unsteady. So it's like, I feel like this person has, a, there's a lot of emotion there, but sometimes they just don't know what to do with them or don't know how to communicate them. And that's the case for a lot of people, right? Like, it's not always easy to say how we feel. And we live in a world that says, like, don't say how you feel. It's, like, cool to not say how you feel. But with this um, King of Cups came the Judgment card. Yeah, so it's, like, second chances, right? It's, like, um, the Judgment card is a card of second chances. It's also a card of making a judgment call, evaluating the situation and being, like, you know, um, pros, weighing pros and cons. What do I want out of this? I feel like this person is is... On one hand, they're like, I want to tell Aquarius how I feel. I want to let them know how much I feel for them. And on the other hand, they're like, or should I just like, you know, see what else is out there? Let's find out more about this two of wands. Tell me more about the two of wands spirit for this person's actions in the immediate future. Thank you. Page of Cups. Okay, interesting. Tell me more about the Two of Wands. Page of Cups is, you know, and the Ten of Cups. Interesting. Hmm. The Page of Cups is making an offer. It, it's almost like an apology. It's like a, hey, you know, sorry for whatever has gone on with the to pair with the ten of cups again like a deep emotion here but i don't know why this would be the other decision that they're trying to make so strange is this someone else that they might be offering this to three of cups just came out yeah it could be it could be that there's another party in the picture that they are possibly thinking about um, offering this page of cups to because with this other party, it looks like there is some sort of fulfillment there. There is some sort of happiness there. Um, tell me more about the three of cups. It could even, it doesn't necessarily have to be another person. It could just be something else makes them really happy whether it's just their singlehood or being able to go out or, um, you know. Hmm. Okay, I'm hearing take those back. So I'm going to try this again. Tell me more about the Three of Cups, Spirit. Tell me more about the Three of Cups. Thank you. And we got the Sun. Leo energy here. Tell me more about the Three of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Pentacles. Huh. Tell me more about the Three of Cups. I feel like... This... Okay, the Lovers. So the Lovers is a soulmate connection, but it's also um, a choice. There could be a choice here. Tell me more about the Lovers. I just want to get all the cards out because when I'm... I'm know what I'm feeling but yeah okay so the lovers so this person could already be involved with someone else this person has deep love for you but I feel like this person already has a commitment somewhere else and they're juggling they're going back and forth um there it there is a okay take it how it resonates this could be you on this side Aquarius where you're already in a commitment with this person. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of happiness here. You know, there's a deep connection. There's a soulmate connection here. Um, they don't want to let this go. But they are juggling. They're juggling this commitment. And 
they're undecided about staying in what is what they're already in or having a second chance with someone else so you could be the person where they're trying to have a second chance with because they're already committed to someone else or you're committed to this person and they there's been like a side thing that's what i'm getting The heavier commitment, so if you're sitting there saying, I'm heavily committed to this person, I feel like is where their their true happiness lies. I feel like this energy over here has been, like, there's, a, there's definitely deep emotion there, but it's like, it's not to the same extent, if that makes sense. So if you're sitting here being like, I'm pretty sure my person is like, has been sneaking around with someone else, it looks like they all have been, but their other their their other person it's it the energy is completely different so obviously like maybe that's what the arguments have been about maybe that's what the fighting has been about if you found out about this tell me about the two of pentacles the juggling the going back and forth tell me about the two of pentacles yeah five of swords mind games lying not saying the truth you know, um, sabotaging, self-sabotaging, and the five of cups. So two fives back to back again, synchronous. When there's a deep soul connection like this, the it's there's pay attention to synchronicities because when you're connected with that person and it's so deep like that, um, the universe starts to like talk to you even more in numbers, for instance. Numbers is the easiest way for the, one of the easiest ways for the universe to connect to you. But anyway, okay. So this person is juggling. Like, I feel like they're, they're, um, definitely unhappy about what they've done. They feel like this, like a bag of shit for what they've done. Even if this was like a short lived connection with someone else, um, I'm feeling Aquarius like this is you on this side like you have been committed with this person you bring them the happiness the ten of cups the sun the lovers um the four of wands like all of like those cards these cards are the best cards to have in a relationship reading right it's like everything you'd ever want in a relationship it's a soulmate connection it's commitment it's happiness it's joy it's unconditional love it's a family whatever that looks like for you you know, um, and I feel like this person messed that up or they're about to mess that up or something, something's coming up because there's been argue, there's been arguing about something and this person is in this energy where they just feel, um, like they've been, they haven't been telling the truth and like, they're like depressed about what they've done. I don't, like, I'm not a medical doctor, but you know, they're sitting there like, only thinking about the horrible things that have happened okay well tell me about this judgment card this second chance over here what is this second chance this is so interesting tell me about judgment yeah yeah, there was some sort of like painful ending here, some sort of moving away from, from something. Some sort of, um, I feel like it's relationship with this King of Cups here. It, there, was, there was a lot of passion here, but it ended and um, yeah, there was a very painful ending here. A lot of betrayal. We have Gemini energy here as well. What is this person's intentions towards Aquarius? The Four of Cups, okay. What is this person's intentions? The Chariot, Cancer energy. What is this person's intentions? Okay, so they want to move forward, but they feel like you're going to reject them. 
um, but they're still being secretive. Like they're not saying everything. So if you had suspicions about something else going on, I feel like they're, there's not communication here. They're not gonna say it because they're undecided about saying it. I feel like they're undecided about these two situations that have gone on. One of them is a commitment that brings them a lot of happiness. It's a soulmate connection. This could be you, Aquarius. I'm feeling for the majority of you, this is you, but then there's there's also been another connection where there is a lot of emotion there, but there was a, there was a painful ending and um, there was passion, but it's just, it's not the same energy. It's just not. Um, and I feel like this person, their intentions is to not fully tell the whole truth about it, but still wanting to reunite. Anything else about this person's intentions? I feel like I need to go to the other deck. Let's see. Spirit, what is this person's intentions towards Aquarius? What is this person's intentions? What is this person? Whoa, that's quite a lot. Okay, yeah, that's too many. That was like a quarter of the deck. What is this person's intentions towards Aquarius? Spirit. Hmm. Interesting. Their energy is like closed off. Like they they're not really talking, yeah. Okay, so intentions, four of wands, three of swords. Six of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. They're still juggling. They're still going back and forth. It's like they want this commitment, but but they don't know how to end. There's just, there's something else going on that um, they're just undecided about. Hmm. Like they want to come forward and offer you something they want victory with you but like there's also like the potential of heartbreak here as well well let's just see what is the potential outcome between aquarius and this person the chariot again move, moving forward six of pentacles the star the two of cups and justice okay so yeah this person wants to heal this this person wants to come back together with you they want to balance this out they want to fix it they want to move forward they want to give to this connection what they haven't been giving and with the star there aquarius energy we have libra energy here they want to heal this they have hope that this can work out you know they i feel like they deeply regret what they've done and they're they're wanting to balance this out, but there's not a lot of communication cards here. I feel like there's a lot of emotions, but this person doesn't like talk about what's gone on. I feel like you already know Aquarius and that's what the fighting has been about. Let's see, anything else for the potential outcome between Aquarius and this person? The Queen of Cups. So love there, you know, empathy, caring, nurturing. We did have the oh, temperance and the knight of wands. So again, like that, like Sagittarius energy here, balance, wanting to come together, you know, compromise. But the knight of wands here, there's passion, but the knight of wands can also be like in and out. I feel like this person's energy is just all over the place. Like, I'm literally looking at the board and I'm like, I feel like they just, they're, yeah, like they're back and forth. They don't know what they want. Um, they're undecided. That was their actions. That was the first card that came out for their actions in the immediate future. They're undecided. It's like their intentions are to make it better. But there's also three swords here. Someone's going to get heartbroken. 
one connection is like super, super, super strong. Could already be like engaged or married. One's like a soulmate connection. And then the other one is like, there's emotion there, but it's not at, it's just not to the same level, right? Like there's different levels of love and yeah, they're just undecided. This person just can't make a decision. Huh. I mean, Aquarius, you never want to be someone's choice, right? Like you, you don't deserve to be someone's choice, but I mean, if it's this deep connection and you can't let go of this connection because you know how much you feel for them and how much they feel for you, I definitely feel like it's mutual. Then you do what you need to do, right? What's best for you. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius regarding this situation, this very complicated situation? Perfect timing. So divine timing, you know, trust that everything will work out as it's supposed to in divine timing. I know divine timing is like, can be frustrating sometimes because, you know, it can take a while, but opportunity and compromise. Yeah, there's that justice card again. I feel like it's going to, it's going to need compromise. Yeah, there's definitely going to need the second card that came, or the first card that came out was the Eight of Pentacles, right? Something needs work put into it. Um, and any relationship does, but I feel like um, because of what's gone on, or what you're about to find out about what's gone on, definitely, hey, that's strange. Okay, so this was in the wrong deck. That never happens, but it says perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out. Common ground. So that's interesting. But we're going to see what comes out in the technology deck. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius regarding this situation? Okay, those two did flip. The answers you need are coming. And your dreams need a practical plan. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I do want to pull from the wisdom of the oracle. And see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius regarding this connection? What messages do you have for Aquarius, Spirit? Thank you for the messages so far. Oh, I'm so sorry. I live in a building and that just was so loud. Exchanging gifts. 